as a solution for manufacturers, Dante can be adopted as the network solution for encoders and decoders. Dante can present itself as a hardware chipset inside products, such as a Brooklyn card inside a mixing desk Dante audio interface. For video devices, Audinate also offers a hardware implementation of Dante AV, for example, Dante AV Ultra. These devices work between the uncompressed digital video signal coming through HDMI or SDI cables and its encoded digital stream that will then be sent to the network. Dante AV Ultra offers one video channel up to 4K 60 frames per second, eight audio channels at 48 kHz 24-bit, and ancillary control channels such as USB, infrared, CEC, and serial. Dante AV encoders offer a HDMI or SDI input expecting raw, uncompressed digital video from sources such as cameras, media players, computers, and etc. The Dante AV encoder also provides a monitor output of what's coming through the HDMI or SDI input. This is useful to check the image being sent to the network. Through the Dante AV port, a 1 gigabit per second category cable should be connected to a 1 gigabit or faster switch. On the Dante AV decoder, the Dante AV package would arrive through its Ethernet port and made available to the HDMI or SDI outputs. There are also interchangeable devices that can work either as an encoder or as a decoder by a firmware update. Check the options within the manufacturers. The front panel of both Dante AV encoders and decoders will display information for power, encoding, system, errors, sync, and HDCP detector. There are two USB ports to connect a keyboard and a mouse and share their commands through the Dante network. A mini USB port is also provided to connect the devices that will be controlled by the keyboard and mouse. Serial strings such as RS-422 and RS-232 can also be sent over Ethernet to control other devices and there are also input-output connectors for infrared remote controllers. Dante AV encoders can send HDCP content through the network to Dante AV decoders or Dante AV software. In a system, encoders are typically connected to cameras, media players, computers, and video matrices that output uncompressed raw video via HDMI or SDI. That signal will be processed by the codec inside the device and Dante AV will make that signal available to the network. The encoding or decoding video process is performed by a codec, which will be running in the device. There are several types of codecs in use in the AV industry, each with its advantages and technical specifications. Let's start looking at the Dante AV functions inside an encoder or decoder, which are hardware solutions that were compressing and decompressing digital video signals. Through the video input, Uncompressed digital video data will be compressed by a video codec and the encoded signal will be sent to the Dante AV network. Each encoder will generate one Dante Video TX channel that can be shared with one or multiple receivers across the network. The audio channels coming from the video input are interoperable with all other Dante endpoints. A Dante AV encoder could have up to eight audio channels. We will talk about each codec that is supported by the Dante AV family once we will cover each different Dante AV implementation or Dante AV flavor as we commonly refer to each variation within the Dante AV family. For now, let's focus on the Dante AV Ultra capabilities inside encoders and decoders. For example, an encoder that receives raw digital video with 4K resolution 60 frames per second will need to process circa 18 gigabit per second on its HDMI input. After JPEG 2000 encoding, for example, the entire bandwidth would be reduced to 700 megabits max. For example, a Dante AV encoder connected to a video source playing a movie with surround sound could send up to eight channels of Dante audio through the network. This means the soundtrack coming from this video source can be sent to other Dante audio devices on the same network. When processing audio and video signals coming from the same Dante AV source, each type of media will be sent in separate essences. This is the terminology used to refer to a stream or packet containing audio or video data. However, Timestamps will be added to these packets to keep the original lip sync between sound and image. With this freedom of routing, 
audio channels can be de-embedded from a video source and make their own way to Dante Audio devices anywhere else in that building or even be digitally processed in real time and then be ultimately re-embedded at another Dante AV decoder to be played out with the video. And if you wish to learn more about the Dante clocking, please review the Dante certification program. Decoders will connect to devices that can receive a HDMI or SDI input, such as screens, projectors, recorders, or another media capture PC. They work exactly the same way as a Dante AV encoder, however, in the opposite direction. In this example, the Dante AV decoder has one Dante Video RX channel and will receive the Dante AV packets with compressed video coming from the network. It will then align video with the digital uncompressed Dante audio samples and send the separate essences to the codec for the final output through the HDMI or SDI connector. Let's imagine a studio implementation with Dante AV encoders and decoders. A camera or any media source could be connected to the Dante AV encoder and the image would be available for another Dante AV decoder anywhere on the network. Audio could be coming from different Dante sources and be multiplexed together for the final output. A Dante AV encoder will be able to share control channels through the Dante network, for example, USB, infrared, and serial strings. These controls are bidirectional and can expand controlling capabilities for AVOIP systems unifying audio, video, and controls on the same panel. Use the USB keyboard and mouse to navigate menus and type in on software connected somewhere else on the building. With the provided infrared and CEC controls, consumer electronic commands can go through the HDMI cables and be used to control devices on the other end of the campus. RS-232 and 422 strings are also supported to control major Pro AV devices on the market. For the first time, Dante is also a control distribution network, giving flexibility and freedom to system designers and integrators to set up and manage their AVOIP systems with additional control channels. Connect a USB keyboard to port USB 1 and a mouse to port USB 2 in any device on the network. It can be an encoder or a decoder, it doesn't matter as all devices will have the same ports. On the other unit, you will connect a cable from the USB on-the-go port to the computer you want to control remotely with a keyboard and a mouse. Commands, video and audio channels can be patched separately and go across the network to multiple receivers. Connect an infrared emitter to the TX port on the Dante AV unit and place it close to the device you want to control. Connect an infrared receiver to the RX port on the other Dante AV unit and point your remote controller to that sensor. In this way, you can control a device with an infrared remote controller that is far away from that device. Some devices used to communicate using serial commands through cables that connect with a DB9 connector. However, those same serial commands can be sent through Ethernet, and in fact, many devices that can be controlled by serial strings offer an Ethernet port that can receive commands in that protocol. Users may need a DB9 to RJ45 adapter for legacy devices. Summarizing, Dante AV encoders and decoders will distribute HDMI and SDI signals over the network, transporting video up to 4K 60 frames per second with visually lossless quality and codecs that are optimized for 1 gigabit per second links. Up to 8 audio channels on Dante AV encoders and decoders are compatible with all Dante devices with freedom of routing video and audio separately. Ancillary control channels can be transported bidirectionally over Dante, including serial, infrared, CEC, and USB for keyboard and mouse.